Now we're going down the hallway and we're looking up at the ceiling. All the ceiling here is white and it's in satin. Excuse me, or eggshell. And you can see right here where I've missed a spot. The, the paint on the left by the wall is the old color. And you can see it's come down here and my wife pointed out I missed it. But see, I'm walking and my the camera's pointed upwards at the ceiling. Pay attention to the edges right here. All right, this is for all you people that want to do two colors. First thing you do is you paint your ceilings. Now there are exceptions to that, but that's a really advanced painting. I'm not going to get into it. So you paint your ceilings, say white, and you overlap by about an inch, overlap down the walls. Then you have to go and cut in a three inch line of light blue, let's say. All right, or let's say brown, okay, because brown, brown's the color I used. And I want to show you the, the illusion right here. Um, sorry about the mess. We live in a little tiny house and my wife's a pack rat and damn, not bad for 50. Anyway, what I've done here, now remember, I'm standing on the ground, okay? I have cut this brown paint into the ceiling molding. Now what a lot of people will do, you can either cut into the bottom part of the molding right here or the top part up here. It, it doesn't matter any way you want to do it. But you notice how my camera is angled and it's pointed upwards and you're going, what? Well, that line door really doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. No, it doesn't, does it? We're talking about just the line as it cuts into the ceiling. Say I, I was going to paint the room brown. Now let me show you another view of it. If I was eight feet tall and we looked at this again. Now suppose this is our benchmark right here. We need to get it perfectly along here. Absolutely German Austrian spy perfect. Okay, do you see the problem? All right, now this, this camera is pointed directly perpendicular, horizontal to my cut-in line, which, which is right here, to this cut-in line. Now you notice it looks like shit up here because I missed a few places right here. All right, but you don't notice that from the floor. You can get away with that illusion from the floor because no one is eight feet tall, except maybe Chuck Norris. And he would see this, but then the paint would, would automatically fix itself because everything's scared of Chuck Norris. So from the ground, it looks fine. If you look straight on, you can see if I was eight and a half feet tall, that the line is not straight. The point is, you can get away with this illusion. This part of the illusion. Okay, now I'm going to show you the illusion, the other part of the illusion that you cannot get away with as a painter. Now over here, I've cut another line. All right. Now, this is from ground level. Okay. And we can see the lines. Now, I did not try to get the line close to the, to the molding right there. But what I did right here was I got the line over the molding, okay? That means the paint I put on the wall was vertical. The overlap right there is horizontal. Now, if we go look at it a little bit more carefully, I hope this makes sense to you, but as a painter, you can get as close as you want to the top here. All right, because no one is going to be eight feet tall and look right here. They're always going to be looking up this way, up this way. But you could never, never, ever get the paint on the horizontal or the ceiling surface like it is right here. See that? You see how it comes over the molding right here and it gets on right there? Which means that if you were to paint right here, the brown right here, you could you could make you could screw up or fuck up your line a little bit here and there and here and there and here and there. Damn, I got some. Oh, but you can never get the brown paint on the ceiling just like I'm doing. Okay. Oh no, I'll just repaint. That's the trick. That is that is the illusion. You can have your paint run right up close to the line. Since you're not eight feet tall, you won't see it. But you can never have it go horizontal 
onto the ceiling surface itself, onto any of this ceiling surface ever, because it will show like crazy. Now, if let me say that if you did have a problem like that, there are two ways to fix it. You could either repaint the ceiling white in that area and paint the brown out and then use the brown and cut it back in, or you can do it the other way. You can uh, recut the brown in. But that's the illusion. And the, the, the story of this lesson is that you can put all the paint you want on the wall up to the vertical. But you cannot go past vertical. If you put any paint on the ceiling or horizontal, you cannot do that at all. Okay? Or it shows. And that is the lesson of the day.